Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome back to another Gaga Collection video and today I'm going to be showing you guys my signed um, Grammatica art cover and also how I'm going to be putting that into the frame so I can display it. Alright, so first up, this is the signed cover art. So it's not the booklet, it comes in a little, like a postcard. And here it is. So this is my signature, it's signed in a silver sharpie. So I believe it just says L and G. You know, I wish I had gotten the full Lady Gaga signature, but a lot of people just got the L and some ziggly lines. So I should be very grateful with what I got because I'm just very grateful that I didn't just get a V or a Z or a L. So yeah, I'm quite happy with my signature. So this one, I actually got it from eBay with the UK Chromatica cassette tape bundle so I didn't know what I was gonna get the seller didn't have a photo of the album so it was also a surprise to me I actually ordered a second one from Gaga's US official store when it came back in stock but it has been stuck at preparing for shipment since God knows how many months so I'm not even sure if they're gonna still ship it out or I don't know what's up with that I need to check up with her store via email for that one but anyways for now Let's see how I'm gonna be putting this into the frame that I got. So the frame that I got is very nice. It's an A4 shaped uh, photo frame. I like it because it's very simple, very classic. I got it at a stationery store here where I live, but I think this type of frame, you can easily get it anywhere here because I like the fact that it's very simple. It has a wooden frame, it's thick, and it's it just looks nice overall, so. And this was actually very cheap. It was only like $4. And it's not plastic. This is actually glass too. Although it's a very thin glass, but still, it's glass. So that's good. And I also like the fact that it comes with these hooks. So you can either uh, put it on a stand or you can either hang it from the wall. All right, so time to lift these up. Ah, these are my least favorite part because they hurt. I'm trying to lift these little things up. I also don't have long nails to pry them open. as you can see here's a glass here it's not plastic but it's a very thin glass though so you might want to be careful and on this side it has the weekend time so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip it like this so the cover art and the CD are gonna be you know against the white all right now let's place our cover art and our CD so for the CD, I'm going to be using the Deluxe Edition, International Deluxe Edition CD because I just love the sine wave so much. Looks so cool. And what I'm going to be doing also is I'm also going to be placing this album hype sticker somewhere. Uh, maybe either in the middle or somewhere around here. And I'm going to be using a little bit of blue tack to pin them down into shape just like tiny, tiny bit. So that they don't move around when I flip the thing over later. <clears throat> okay, this part I need to care be careful so that it's not slanted. Here's one for the sticker. I'm gonna put one on the top. Maybe I'll put it somewhere around here. Yep, so that it's free from the frame. I don't want the frame to end in ending up covering it though. All right, now for the CD. So for the CD, I wouldn't really recommend a blue tack because you know, I don't want it to damage the CD texture, but I'll probably never play this CD because Chromatica is already my phone in digital form so yeah so I'm gonna place it but if you plan to re reuse the CD or play it maybe one day don't recommend it all right so we've got that ready so that means it's time to put it back into our frame okay this is the tricky part because now you need to flip it ah 
Okay, hope I didn't break it. All right, there we go. So before you actually seal it up, just check if it's all aligned. I think it looks good. I think that looks good. So we're gonna seal it up. Ah, there we go. That's beautiful. Is it aligned? I sometimes I can't tell if it's like in a straight line. Is it aligned or is my are my eyes crossed? You know. But yeah, so all it needs is a little bit of glass wiping liquid to make it shiny, which I will do later. So that's it. So that's Chromatica sign cover with its CD in the frame. So I just wanted to show you my other signed copies of Gaga that I have that are also put in the frame. So this is Cheek to Cheek. This was like released with a like a music store, I believe, like an online music store where you can order. And the unfortunate thing is the cover is very dark, but she also still used a black Sharpie, so can't really see it. But it says LG again. And I've also had my Joanne sign cover framed as well. This is beautiful. Joanne sticker really works because it's like a long little horizontal thing. So it's like a placard, something like that at the bottom, which I also very much in love with. I actually, I think the sound of born, uh, I was about to say a sound of music and the star is born. I combined it to a sound of born. Sorry. So I believe the Star is Born soundtrack was also released in a limited edition signed copies that she signed. I think it was like exclusive to the UK or something. But those things were gorgeous. They were like signed in a gold sharpie. So I, I would like to get that off of eBay one day. But here are my signed Gaga copies in the frame. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know in the comments below if you have the signed copy of chromatica and what kind of signature did you get did you get a good one or did you get an l unfortunately if you get an l i feel very bad for you i'm so sorry but thank you for watching you can also check me out on instagram at jamie gaga for more photos of these and i will see you also in my next video bye